Hello, Priyanka. How are you? I'm very, very good. <laughs> First of all, congratulations. Thank you so, so very much, ma'am. It's all your efforts. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, so it's it's all the hard work which you have put in that has finally come and shown as its results. Yes. So let ah, you can you can say our efforts. Our our efforts. efforts. Yes, we can say our efforts. Yes, awesome. So let's start with a small interview. So Priyanka, can you tell our audience what is your background and why you chose IPR and patents to be your field? Okay. So uh, I did my BSc in biotechnology, mm -hmm. and after that, I decided to go into UPSC. I wanted to be a DC <laughs> then. So I switched to that, and after the negative results, obviously, as I'm seen sitting next to you, so I dropped UPSC, and after that, I switched to law. And in UPSC and law, I saw and I got introduced to IPR. I liked the subject, and ultimately, I wanted to do something which has the perfect blend of all of this, like science, law, and whatever, what all ever I have done. So yes, so IPR is the thing that I found okay, and then also specifically if I I I am a science background, so I just wanted it to keep it very clear that okay I want to do something uh, which has the gist of all. So yes, that's why patents and IPR. Okay, so from where you came to know about like patents and patent agent examination? Uh. Specifically, I uh, got to know. In, I was in Delhi University, okay. so I got to know from few of my friends that okay, there is an exam that gets conducted every or twice or thrice. In uh, and then I thought, okay, if I am eligible for that, then I think I should prepare for it. And then it took just a little bit of time. Like I decided to be into this, and I was working then. I also worked then. I was working as an advocate, so I didn't have much time. So I decided in February, and I joined IIPT, and it has helped me a lot. <laughs> awesome. So uh, when you were when you made a decision in February, so how you came to the decision? Then now this exam I have to qualify, and this is what I want to focus on. The first thing that I did, I started thinking about uh, patent agent exam after joining IIPT. So okay. it actually channelized my work. I didn't had to go from nook and corner to inquire about it. I got the channelized things that okay, you have to do from A to B to C. This is the way you how you have to proceed. Since I was working, as I already told you, that I was working then, so I thought okay, uh, maybe she is a nice. Uh, Women and she can teach me how to <laughs> how to not waste your time and energy and uh, just get into point and learn it, learn from it. Okay. So what were the challenges because you were working and then studying again? Uh, so how did you manage this balance preparing for the examination? Uh, okay. So uh, this, this is not like the syllabus is so damn vast. It's not like that. Mm -hmm. It's just that you have to be very very versed with the act and rule that you have already taught us. That what all things are important and what all things you don't have to do and that are unimportant. So you already guided us that okay, this is the way how you have to uh, proceed. So yes, on I firstly I switch to act and rules. that you've explained us in a very detailed manner so uh, yes your videos uh, i joined the live class and the material provided by iipta mm -hmm. it helped me and i didn't have to work a lot for for it i was working so after working hours also i managed to do it awesome so uh, what was the best part of the classes that you were doing live uh, as a working professional it is difficult also to focus on two things so what was the best part you liked or you like were most helpful to you mm -hmm. that was the interaction mm -hmm. as since it was your class as we say it to be Mm, so it was your class, and you were very interactive with us. But uh, after everything, after explaining a concept, you used to ask us, "Okay, come on, explain it to me." And you used to uh, ask questions related to the topic that you were teaching that day. So uh, yes, you you actually don't have to mug up a lot when people are attending your classes. <laughs> you don't have to mug up a lot because you do that work for us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can say that. Awesome. So the uh, 
when you were studying and preparing for the examination what was your personal strategy that this is what i am going to do okay so there are three papers uh, firstly paper one paper two and the viva voice part so my strategy was to uh, firstly decide that you have to score 90 or 80 plus mm-hmm. in paper one mm-hmm. because you can't be sure of paper 2 because that is subjective paper obviously hmm. and you it depends upon how the the, the person who is checking your answers whether he likes it or not so you can't hmm. be 100% sure about it and based on which you have to also prepare for viva hmm. so i thought that okay if i get sure that okay if i maintain to score more than 80 in paper 1 hmm. and uh, obviously uh, you taught us well drafting and the answers part so if you manage to do average in that then also it can help you and after that obviously viva and you can never be sure about paper 2 and viva right <laughs> because uh, the, the decision is isn't somebody else's hand <laughs> so i think paper 1 is the thing if you are versed with act and rules so you can easily not not just mugging up again won't work here because you have to understand the concepts and the question were related to that only and you can also get to answer the questions that were asked in paper 2 mm-hmm. so yes um, paper 1 and up till a little bit extent paper 2 and viva of course <laughs> so when you appeared on the day of examination so how was the experience level for you appearing for two papers in a single day and uh, it was it might be a little challenging no not exactly because mm-hmm. uh, i was very excited for the exam i was very very excited for it because uh, it was the hard work that i put into uh-huh. so i was very excited for pa- for paper 1 and it went well i i got after exam i got to know that okay i'm going to score more than 80 in it so i was very uh, energetic for the second egg paper 2 also paper 2 was also good it went well and i was uh, Uh, optimistic about the results no we have attended the last year question papers also one in one of your books that uh, iipd provides in that also you have all the uh, previous year question papers yeah and also the material that you have provided it is related to exam that means going through the material and classes that is i guess sufficient if you are preparing for this exam a complete set <laughs> awesome awesome so any last piece of advice for the students for who are appearing who are appearing for next year 2023 Yes, uh, there is no piece of uh, advice. Just do's and don'ts. That okay, just don't uh, mug up everything. Just uh, just be very very versed with the act and rules because that is what the exactly are uh, actually plays the role. So this these are the things and also uh, drafting. Mm-hmm. That is the thing that you have to be very very uh, clear about it. That okay, you have to write this in claims like you how you have to frame the claims. and how could you be sure about and you should also have the reading habit because the passages that come for drafting that are very lengthy so when you uh, see for the first time generally people uh, they they think that okay drafting is not that tough and i can do it there so maybe you just uh, collapse reading the material that is given there so yes be handy with the drafting part and be versed with the act and rules it's not that tough exam to clear i guess awesome awesome great 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 piece of advice for the student and what is next what is the upcoming plan for you what are you going to do next now okay so uh, right now i'm working with the firm with the law firm in mm-hmm. patents as a patent patent associate also so yes i'm um, trying and i'm working in the firm to uh, file patents and i just want to get into the field because mm-hmm. this is just my i'm a fresher in this field Mm-hmm. so i just start i wanted to start with this way and i got into a firm and i'm working with it awesome awesome and i i'm so happy and i'm so proud <laughs> that you are able to qualify in your first attempt and all the hard work which we have done together has finally paid off and i am so happy i see this is my success when you get successful this has been i've been talking for months and months in my class ki yeah. do this do this do this ye kar lo this isko chhod do ye kar lo but yeah mm-hmm. i'm i'm glad that with you've, really, you've been helpful <laughs> i'm i'm glad that all those things has finally helped you move to your next level of career awesome i'm so proud okay thank you so much thank you priyanka for joining in me today thank you and happy janmashtami to you happy janmashtami to you too ma'am bye okay bye